What up guys, CSS Code here and welcome to a new video and today we're going to be looking at the KM9 Pro coming from MeCool. You can get this over at Banggood, it's currently on a 20% discount at the moment so I'm going to link all of this down in the description below so if you want to check out even further specs or actually go and purchase it then just head down below and it will take you straight there. So this Android TV comes shipped with Android 9.0 which is Pi. You can see we've got a Google Assistant on here, it's 4K ready it's also 3d ready so if you've got some 3d movies to play you can play them on here absolutely fine obviously you're going to need a 3d tv you kind of need to go and get that else it's not going to work there is chromecast already built in as well and obviously you can get all your favorite applications on here via the use of the app store as well you can even get your prime video you can get your applications such as itv player and stuff like that if you're from the uk or your american applications as well from your store. So I am gonna link some more specs over on a blog post at cssco.com. That's also gonna be down in the description. It's gonna to touch on the DRM. It's also gonna to touch on the file formats, which this can play, which I'll give you a hint now, is pretty much everything. It also comes shipped with USB 3. It gives you a higher transfer rate if you're using a, a hard drive, an external hard drive to actually play content from. You have dual band Wi-Fi as well. So if you're streaming and you're upstairs and just on the Wi-Fi, you're gonna get a lot better signal on there as well. You're gonna be able to stream with a lot less buffering and you're gonna get certainly an enhanced performance on that with the dual band Wi-Fi. So the remote control is absolutely awesome. We're gonna go through the box, what's exactly in there. They're gonna take you through the user interface like I did on the previous Meekle box. Uh, very similar, very similar user interface, but I'm also gonna show you some different types of things that you can actually do on this box as well, uh, which you can do on most boxes, but it's just gonna make your whole uh, user experience a lot more better and a lot more intuitive as well. So let's take a look what you actually get in the Meekle KM9 Pro box. So here we have the actual box, and as you can see, we've got Google Assistant, Google Play, YouTube, built-in Chromecast, and it ships with Android 9 Pi. So in the box, you will also get some instructions, but I did take them out. So the actual box itself, if we just take off the plastic protective layer. So this is the actual box. So if we look around it, you will see that you've got your USB 3, your USB 2. You've also got a TF card slot, a memory card slot, so it's expandable. It's expandable up to 32 gig as well. We've got some protective feet on the bottom so it's not going to scratch any surface and also the vents to dissipate any heat from within the box when it's on as well. This is a glowing light across the front so it'll tell you when your device is either in standby or in hibernation or it's powered off or it's on. So that will just give you clear indicators which you'll see from within the user manual uh, that it tells you exactly what it all is but the box is super lightweight, only weighs a few grams. We also have the actual remote as well. Like I said on my previous video, it looks a bit more like a Fire Stick TV remote. There you've got your Google Assistant. And uh, remember, it does not come shipped with any batteries, so it just takes two treble A's and then you'll be good to go. We also have the power adapter as well, three pin plug for the UK. Obviously, if you order from the US, you will get the two pin and a HDMI cable. So a nice sturdy one. It's a good length on it and uh, comes with a couple of protector caps. So now what we do, now we've had a little look at the specs and also what you get inside the box is have a look around the user interface. We'll also see the specs from within the settings there, see what application you actually get built into the box as well what you can actually install on it what you can do with it and how to configure it how you like it so it makes it as easy as possible to use just for you and honestly 20% off over at Banggood at the moment I would literally just hit down in the description below have a look at it and just get yourself one. Get yourself one while it's on sale right now. <coughs> if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We're at 26,599 subscribers at the moment, I think, or 25,599. However many we've got, I appreciate every single one of you and I love all your comments. We have some hardcore subscribers that have been there from the very start and I'd like to thank all of you, you know, Alicia, Stu, and all you guys, absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, and Tim and Lou, and all of you so I really do appreciate it so we're gonna go over to the user interface now and let's have a little close look around this fantastic Meekle Pro box so what we want to do as per the instructions on the screen you want to press the OK button and the volume down button and this is going to actually pair the device to the actual box there we go so we are all done so now we're just going to click through some of the menus so English United States 
set up with your Android phone, which you can do, but I tend to skip when first setting it up. And then we just need to connect to a network. So I'm just gonna put in my password. So there we go, we've put in the password. Now we are successfully connected to the internet. I'm sorry about that. I can see loads of fingerprints on here. Remember, obviously, if you use your Google account, you can obviously make the most out of your TV sign in to get new apps, recommendations, movies, and more from Google. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna sign in. And the good thing about this is you can use your phone as well and it makes it super easy so all you need to do is head to this and then enter this code which I'm gonna do on my phone right now and now we've done that the device is actually connected and set up our Google account actually on our Android TV we just need to finish off by signing in the rest on our device and then we're gonna be good to go success you are now signed in and there we go Ta -da! so we can just hit on accept and we're not going to do location help improve android no sorry ios user and you can install obviously these recommended applications so i'm going to hit on continue it will also uh, install everything in the background and obviously show you through some of the features so yeah get apps from google play nice one cast your tv with chromecast built in so we can just hit on done and there we go there's a load of our applications already now installed any previous ones that i've got off the uh, the app store as well are now installed on there remember you can just easily remove them we have the dr uh, info which somebody was asking about on the previous video so what i'm going to do i'm going to run an update on everything on here and then i'll uh, show you exactly what you get on this system so now everything has uploaded and updated this is the actual home screen you'll get as soon as you actually properly launch your system you can see at the bottom we've got the google play feature and your side load launchers and obviously your Google Assistant. If you click up to the top right hand side that's going to take you into your settings where you can see your settings for your Wi-Fi, recently opened applications and any special permissions that you want to give the applications and then more about your actual device itself. As you can see KM9 Pro it is version 9 Android security patch from the 5th of February 2019 so that's all your information in there obviously you can set your date and time your language your storage 32 gig internal storage expandable by 32 gig and you can further customize your home screen channels and reorder anything about that that you want you can do it on actually via the home screen as well so it's either or if you want to go into the settings or just do it via the actual home screen remember you can allow unknown sources and unknown applications and if you do get any errors when you install an application that's probably due to permission so you want to head in there into the app specific uh, preferences and allow unknown installation you can see in here, here's our quick uh, launcher for all our applications. You can see I do have Kodi on there. It works like a dream, obviously, as you would. Puffin browser is absolutely amazing. And to transfer these files, which I'm recording at the moment, I'm using AN Explorer. So here's just one of the games, but unfortunately, as I was doing it, it said I needed a half a gig update. And uh, yeah, basically, uh, I didn't have time to do the, the massive update on there to show you the game. But uh, with this GPU, CPU, and uh, the, the four gig of RAM, games are gonna run absolutely fine on here. No dramas at all. You can see with the DRM info, we've got SDK level 28. You can see ClearKey supported, uh, Google Widevine. Uh, but unfortunately Marlin and Adobe Prime Time are not supported on this system. So I am also trying to sort out how to get Netflix on the system as well um, by sideloading that and I do have a, another tutorial coming up so you can actually get that on your system so you will be able to get Netflix on there, don't worry, just uh, subscribe to the channel and then wait for my next video. Um, I went to install this as well just to show you uh, through an actual game but I don't actually have a gamepad and you can't obviously use the remote control uh, but you have access to all the normal applications and it's just one click install because obviously we in, uh, when we first started the device we actually started it and signed in and authenticated it with our Google account which is the same as linking into the Google Play Store then everything's already done on here there's no need to further enter any information on here at all 
all. So on the home screen itself, you can see you have your YouTube recommended, you can put trending, you can do it as a subscription, or you can just actually add them all on there. So it's all on your home screen. You can go into YouTube, YouTube plays perfectly at 1080p, 60 frames a second. So you're good to go on all of your YouTube videos. And if you wanna head over to my channel and watch some of my videos, then just go do that. I've got a lot of videos on there, which I know you'll love. Hence why I keep saying, hey, subscribe to the channel. So you can go down to my video and you can see the predecessor to the box. Um, also via me call and I'll also link that from Banggood down in the description below as well so as you can see here's the best yet but saying that this video which I'm doing now is the best yet with the best specs you can see HD quality 1080p there but obviously you can reduce it if your Wi-Fi is struggling but with the dual band Wi-Fi you're gonna get excellent signal wherever you are in the house on this device like I'm upstairs through about 100 foot of bricked walls and I'm on Wi-Fi and it connects absolutely perfectly so I'm getting good speeds and uh, I'm happy with the Wi-Fi strength up here so it really does uh, ensure that you can get the best strength to stream any of your content now you can see here you got play movies and TV from uh, from Google which you can obviously purchase and then you can this is what I was saying about you can customize your channel so you can go onto YouTube and add your subscriptions and add your trending so when you come back out you now have your subscriptions and you now have your trending all on your home screen as well you can obviously add the google play stuff so top selling movies and tv shows and you also have google play music and also plex accounts on there as well so if you come back out once again everything on there but you can still move uh, these up and down depending on actually how you want them on your screen so i want trending just below my applications and there we go we're sorted we've got our trending on there one place where I'll actually never be, but anyone that does make it on there, massive, massive kudos. So in here, we've got all our applications. These are just my favorites, and you can add and remove and move around all of your favorites across that top row. You can do that by just clicking on an application that you want on there. So let's go for Cody, and then press and hold on that application, click down one and hit move, and then just scroll to wherever you actually want that application then it's gonna stick there across your favorites bar so it's gonna be easily accessible. So it's super, super easy. Go into my apps again, that's actually still downloading. Um, don't know why it's actually taking so long because everything else is working fine. But all in all, this box is absolutely mint. I'm well impressed with it. Further information is gonna be down in the description below. So please check that out. It's from Banggood, it's on sale. Really enjoy.